Hello, stampers. I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com, coming to you from a beautiful Menasha, Wisconsin in the United States. Today, I have a special treat for you. We are going to be making cards as part of the Totally Techniques design team using bubbles, fun stuff. Backgrounds are one of my favorite things to make. We're also going to be using my million dollar stamp set friendship royalty for a beautiful fun fold let's get this camera flipped around i'll tell you all the details show you how easy this is and show you some different color samples with bubbles we are going to be using the friendship royalty stamp set this is my million dollar stamp set that i got to design when i hit that number in my career to date sales yay we're also going to be using Fluid 100 watercolor paper. You get 10 sheets that are five by seven in here, very high quality watercolor paper. I've got Blackberry Bliss re-inker or ink refill and ink, some rhinestone basic jewels, and then we've got the More Dazzle six by six paper. You get eight sheets, four in this kind of silver champagne color and four in the beautiful gold. I love this paper. I've got my seal plus here, my liquid glue, some dimensionals and my bone folder and take your pick tool. And I think what we're gonna do here first, you guys, is we are going to do our technique. So let's just move all this stuff aside and we're going to bring in our um, ink refill in Blackberry Bliss. I've got this giant size bottle of Dawn. Good grief. I keep asking my husband to buy a smaller bottle because this is just hard to handle, right? Man hands. I do not have them. <laughs> I also have a couple little dishes of water and there's only about, I'd say three eighths of an inch of water in these dishes. Good tip here when doing the bubble technique is that Less water requires you to use less ink refill. So at first I filled these up about this, this deep and it took forever to get the color that I wanted. So then I decided it was probably a better idea to leave less water in the bowl. I've got a couple straws here. I started out using this container because I thought it would be easier for me to put my piece of cardstock in here to make the background with the bubbles. Way too big. These are perfect. So I'm gonna take, well, let's see. I think what I'll do is I'll take um, some Orchid Oasis. We'll just do that as a little sample, but I'm gonna bring in my Blackberry Bliss and my Dawn dish soap. And you just put a few drops in here. That's good, you don't need much. I'll do that again in this one. Mine doesn't really come out in drops, it just streams, but you can see how little I used here. Then I'm going to bring in my Blackberry Bliss, and depending on the color depth that you want, that's how much um, ink refill you're going to use. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight drops. Take your straw and stir it up. That makes a really nice little, looks like red wine cocktail. Don't drink it. We've also got the Orchid Oasis, and I'm just going to use this as a sample. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is that how many I used? I don't remember. <laughs> you can always add more. I'm gonna mix that up. Oh, such a pretty color, right? So this bubble technique is super easy. I have, um, uh, a piece of watercolor paper. I think I'm gonna grab a little sample piece from my Fluid 100 so we can do two different samples here. So let me cut this. I don't need this big of a piece. My card front samples are three by four. So we'll do this one three by four too. And it looks like it's already at four, so that's perfect. So we've got two pieces of Fluid 100 that are three by four. So now let's blow some bubbles. This is a fun little technique to do with kids too. They'll get a big kick out of it. You can see I've got a little splatter here. 
Make sure that you, um, if you're not using a lot of water, that you tip your straw or tip your dish up so you can get the straw all the way in there. That's why it's splattered a little bit. So now I'm gonna bring in my piece of watercolor paper, Fluid 100. And you can see that fabulous bubble outline on there. Now, don't pop your bubbles, just let them pop on their own because then that'll give you those fabulous rings. I'll show you, I think I have some samples here that are less fabulous with the rings because I didn't um, let the bubbles pop. I kind of popped them myself. So I'm gonna do some more. Oh, there we got the edge of that. You can do as much or as little as you want. There, we've got some more. There's a bubble, it's gonna pop shortly. I really like this look. I'm gonna leave this now to dry. And now I'll take this and I'll show you what the Orchid Opulence looks like. Now we've got a much more subtle look. Okay, we have some bubbles on there. We're starting to get it a little darker. You can continue to do this with watercolor paper until you get the depth of the color you want. You can also add some more color, some more um, ink refill. Now it's starting to get some more color on there. Isn't that fun? Very, very fun. I think what I'll do is add a little bit more. One, two, three, four, five. Five more drops, we'll see if that makes a difference. I'm just trying to blow down the bubbles so we can get all the color coming up from the added refill. Let's see what that does. Oh yeah, look at that, tiny, tiny little bubbles. There we go, look at that, how cool is that? This is such a fun technique. Every time it's going to be different, every single time. Now, if you wanna continue on with your card, you could hit this with a heat tool. I'm just gonna set these aside to dry. I've already made up one that is dry and I just continued to put it in those bubbles until it got this dark, which I think is pretty cool. I like both of these actually. And again, different every time. All right, let's get our card made. We've got a basic white envelope here. I've got Blackberry Bliss for my card base. And I'm gonna do a little scoring on that. We're gonna score it with our paper trimmer at two and an eighth and four and a quarter. This card has lots of layers. I actually got this layout from one of my team members. Sarah, thank you so much for the gorgeous card. And we're going to just put this, this is gonna be our card front just like this. Then we've got a basic white layer, four by five and a quarter. By the way, you guys, you can find still photos and all the dimensions for this project on my blog at astampabove.com. I've got Blackberry, or I'm sorry, this is Berry Burst, three and three quarters by five. We've got some Blackberry Bliss here that's three and an eighth by four and an eighth. Another piece of Berry Burst that is one and a quarter by five. That fabulous More Dazzle silver or champagne colored paper. This is our specialty paper. This is three and a half by four and three quarters. And of course, our Fluid 100 Bubble Technique layer which is three by four. So now all we're gonna do is start stacking this together. We've got a little bit of stamping to do on these two pieces. I'm using Blackberry Bliss ink, and I'm gonna grab that big crown from the 
friendship royalty stamp set. Lots of crowns and fun elements in here. And we're gonna stamp that near the top, centered side to side. That looks fantastic. And then I've got the To the Birthday Queen. I love the font in this stamp set. It's so pretty. Heard from so many people that they are making these cards and loving the stamp set. Isn't that pretty? And then on this layer, we are going to stamp the Magical Swirl. This reminds me of Sunday Night Disney movies with my grandmother. And um, Tinkerbell always came out by the Disney castle and did the little swirl with her wand. So I'm just gonna, oops, I'm gonna do the words first. Let's do that. This is a better idea. We're gonna stamp, you were born to be fabulous, not perfect. And I love that sentiment. And then the swirl is gonna come right in over here. I love that. Then I'm gonna do it on my envelope too. I'm gonna bring it right in here. And then maybe a little bit more, a little swirl right down here. I just think that's gonna be real pretty. We can close this up, set our envelope aside, and now we can start adding our layers. So I've got my liquid glue here. I'm gonna get this all the way around the outside. When you get paper wet, even if it's watercolor paper, sometimes it bows a little bit. You can see this is kind of sticking up on here. I wanna get that glue around the outside edges to make sure it lays down nicely. Now this is just a tiny little border of Blackberry Bliss that I thought would really make this layer pop. And I wanna also mention something else. I'll show you some other samples that I made at the end, but I wanted, um, I wanted this color, the berry burst color, and I got that with Blackberry Bliss ink refill. Berry burst looked very pink and not what I was looking for here. Still a pretty color, but not exactly what I wanted. Now I'm gonna take my dimensionals and add those to the back of this layer before we put it on the more dazzle paper. Take your pick tool is a great way. You just push these in, um, push the pointy end at an angle and pop off these dimensional backings. We'll get this centered on here. There we go. And then we are going to put this on this layer of Berry Burst. Just like this. Like I said, this is a lot of layers on a card, but I think that makes it look so much more spectacular. And I think you'll agree that it's pretty easy stamping. There's not a lot, not a lot of stamping on here. Now we're gonna grab that card base. This little piece right here is going to go onto our white layer, but we're gonna also pop that up on dimensionals because not only is this a fun fold, holy cow, but it's also an easel card. And that's gonna make this so spectacular. So we're gonna set that aside. This piece is gonna go in first before you do the front because we need to line up the front layer so that it goes over the inside white layer with good margins. Now we're gonna come in and we're going to make sure this fits nicely. That's what I was doing, make sure that fits nicely, and it does. I think we can put this on. This is gonna be our easel holder, and that's why we popped it up on dimensionals so that our card front is going to be setting on that to be displayed beautifully. And I'm doing this inside first because now I can close my card and come in and add this layer and make sure that it covers up the inside layer. So we are going to, I'm kind of doing a dry fit here so I know how far to put my glue down. My glue is not gonna go below my finger here. And now we're gonna line this up with this bottom inside layer. 
And if I did the inside right, the front will be even also, right? <laughs> and then some rhinestones because every tiara needs rhinestones. So you can put as many on here as you want. I'm going to have another fabulous birthday card to send out. Goodness. I just think the stamp set is so fun. It's also great for like party invitations, letting people know that they're a queen, right? Okay, you guys, here's our envelope. Here is our easel card. You can see how nicely that stacks right up here. Folds flat for mailing. What do you think? Isn't that pretty? I love this. You know what else? I think I'm gonna put another little rhinestone right over here, just for fun. Okay, let me show you some of the other. Did I just flick that off? <laughs> I did, hang on, good goodness. Let's get that back in there. We'll be a little more careful with that. <laughs> so this is the other color combination that I made. And I used the Orchid Opulence layer here with Orchid Opulence um, ink the Orchid Opulence layer here, and then I use Fresh Freesia for my card base. Isn't that pretty? I'm gonna add a little inside rhinestone right here to this one too. So we've got this beautiful little color combo and our envelope. And then I wanted to show you some of the different things that I experimented with. First of all, this is a uh, regular basic white cardstock. I did not care for that. It it was seemed like it was very hard to get the color on it. This one is also basic white cardstock. And again, I just couldn't get the color to do well. So I say that the Fluid 100 is the best um, cardstock to put this on. This is berry burst which is the color that we used for this and you see how pink it is so that's when i decided to try blackberry bliss which goes along with the berry burst much better so this is a night this is a very nice pink but not what i was looking for and here is some um berry burst with the orchid opulence i did two colors here and then i did two colors here um, actually, I think this was Blackberry Bliss with the Orchid Opulence, and this is Berry Burst with the Orchid Opulence. So you can see that each one of these is going to turn out very different. Look at this one. This one's really unique. It's got some lighter blue in there. Isn't that fun? Have fun with the bubble technique. I absolutely love this. If you're in the United States, I always appreciate your orders. You'll find my online store button right on my blog here. This is my current host code. Please use that if your order is under $150. And again, this is my friendship royalty class or friendship royalty stamp set that I got to design. So how fun is that? Blog hop, you guys, right up here. You can click up here. This is going to take you right to my blog where you're going to find these these cards. You'll see still photos. There's a complete shopping list telling you the colors that I used and all the different products in case you'd like to get your hands on those. It's also going to be where the blog hop is. Scroll down past all my pictures and you're going to see some different little thumbnail pictures of other people and their bubble technique cards. When you click on those, it will take you right to their blog where you can see exactly what they made and it just hops along you go to the bottom of theirs look for the little thumbnails go to the next one so on and so forth thank you so much for spending time with me on this beautiful friday afternoon i hope that you were inspired to make something with the bubble technique and um have a great weekend you guys thank you bye bye